Hi, as many of you know, I gave away my wood stove some, to some homeless people that was out of my emergency kit. Now, I did purchase another stove here. I did have some money left on my card. So what I did was I purchased two different wood stoves. This is like the one I had. I paid uh, $13.97 for this. And this other one, I paid $16.98. Uh, $16 yeah. I'm going to tell you why I repurchased this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my camera off. Actually, I don't need to do that. I just need to... Yeah, actually I do. I apologize. I have to switch my camera view so it will be facing me. And I want to talk to you about this. So I will turn it off, split these videos together, and give you one complete video. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And what I want to talk to you today about is... Why would you have a wood stove? Now you can see here's one that just came in, and here's the other one it just came in. Um, this will be like the last wood stove I had that I gave away. This one should be different. Um, now there's a couple of reasons I want a wood stove and little bitty wood cook stove in my emergency kit. And that's because even if you have a butane, propane, alcohol stove, things like that, with the way things are going now, you might not be able to find butane, excuse me, butane, propane, or even alcohol much longer. Now we all see that China, Russia, and some other countries, Saudi Arabia, uh, made this huge deal together <clears throat> and Saudi Arabia who Joe Biden um, called the prince a murderer said they're going to cut a million barrels a day of oil that's gonna affect a lot of stuff so let me go over some things real quick now we do have even if I sell my camper, I have my camper listed for sale for $1,500 to try to help out my girlfriend, pay some of her medical bills. Um, even if I sell that camper, it's not a big deal to me because I can always build something in my van. I do have an extra propane stove, uh, double sink, all that mess that can go in my van. So that's not a big deal if I lose the camper. Um, 1500 bucks plus I've already done all this work on it. It's a pretty good deal and it still needs a little work. But anyway, uh, if we don't sell the camper, we have a propane stove in the camper, three burner with an oven. If we do sell it, I still have a extra three burner stove, propane with an oven. So let me open this door real quick for midnight. I'll be right back. I apologize for that so we also have a butane stove and I have several little cans of butane that like this what happens if you can't get propane or butane depending on where you live it may be easy for you or difficult for you to even find stuff to burn. Now if you live in an apartment with a balcony two three stories up, as long as you can find something to burn, you can use one of these little stoves. Now there is a warning I will tell you. On the bottom of these stoves there is no bottom. None. So hot coals can come out the bottom of the stove. Uh, so if you use it outdoors on leaves, grass, things like that, it can catch that on fire. If you're going to do that, always put some type of metal plate, an upside down bowl, you know, pan, something to keep that from uh, letting these hot embers and coals hit the ground. All right, let's open these up.
I'm trying to not cut my finger here. And they got a whole lot of tape on this. Now this should be just like the one I gave away. Um, the reason I got this one, it is a very cheap compared to the other ones. This was under $14. Now I know I have shown the other one before, but I want to go over a couple things. If you can't find fuel, and this, eh. Looks like the um, that there was caught on the inside. If you can't find fuel for your propane stove, butane stove, alcohol stove, then you're in trouble. This is very easy to put together, but I want to show you the bottom. Alright. This, the smallest piece goes in the middle piece. Rise down. The largest piece turns upside down, and then the small piece slides in, just like that. And you can see, I hope you can see it, there's a fill hole here where you can stick sticks and stuff in. And then this, let me make sure I got this right, sets on top. It's pretty simple. Now, like I said, there's nothing on the bottom of this to catch hot coals and embers. So if you can, set this on something like a cement block or something like that. First of all, something that's flat and something that won't catch on fire. Now I've already demonstrated one just like this. It's stainless steel. It worked pretty good. Um, I can't remember how much water I boiled um, I believe it was eight cups uh, of water in my um, uh, steel percolator uh, coffee pot. It is not that big. You'll go through fuel, wood, uh, in a pretty quick pace using one of these. But in an emergency situation, you do what you have to do. Let's get this other one open. And like I said, you're probably wondering why I bought these. Well, since I gave away the one that was in my emergency kit, I needed to replace it. And buying a second one made sense to me because there are two of us. It's me and my girlfriend. Now this one is a little bit bigger. as far as going around and this has a handle here is the bottom that catches the embers these are fairly easy to put together Take your bottom. It doesn't matter if yours has handles or not. Take your bottom. You take your chamber. Set it just like that. This will slide down in here. And you can see it will slide and sit. Now, this is interesting. This is what I ordered. It has this type. 
and not thin ones. But it has a feed hole here. Now let's show it to you. Let's compare the sizes. Height. Now let me get this air fill hole. This one's taller, but it's much, much skinnier. And I'll, I'll show you this. Now compare the insides. This one's deeper, but it's skinnier. This one's wider across. So, now you're going, okay, I'm out of propane. I have no butane. What do I do next? Well, I was going to tempt something, but I understand something first. If you're cooking on anything that's wood like this, your pot, your pan, is going to be really dirty. It'll have black soot all over it. No matter how clean or dry your wood is, it w it's a good chance that's going to happen. I wanted to check something. And I wanted to check a heater on one of these. Actually, both of these. I want to check and see if I can use this type of heater on these. Now, remember, if you're using something like this, there will be soot, black, all in this. Now, for this little one, I believe it will work, but you will have to remove these most likely. Yeah, you see that? It will not just sit perfectly. So, there we go. So, with a heater like this, sitting on the top, the flames are going to go inside and heat this up a great, great deal. And you can constantly just feed your fuel in here. So, one of these would work, but you have to take the cross thing out for the pot to sit on. If you're outside, yes, if you have one of these or something else to put on top, uh, a pan that's raised, a tin can that's upside down, so the heat will go up in that can and get it really hot. You don't have to have a heater like this. You can build your own heater and use it on something like this to try to stay warm. Now let's check it on the other one. This one's going to be harder because the way it's made. But let's see if I can figure out how to get this to set. Okay, not going to sit that way. Not really going to sit that way. All right, let's do this another way. Take these and flip them down. Then let's try it. Well, it is trying to fit. It may or may not work because it's really loose. So let's do this. And see if we can figure out a way to get that to work on this. That's pretty close. We're almost there. See how I have it bent out? Bent out. Bent out. Now let's see if I can get it to fit. Let me do this the hard way off camera. 
you have to adjust these legs. What do you know? You have to adjust the legs so they'll fit and slide right up in here. And sit on that lip that's inside your heater. If you're going to use one of these with one of these. And if it's too loose, you pull the leg out and try to get a little bit snug. Looks good. And that would give you plenty of room to put your wood in there. Are these worth the cost? That's up to you. They're small. Everything fits inside. The top's right there on this one. Now, I don't really care for these handles too much. They are, this one is pretty loose, but it was a pretty cheap, cheap stove. Sorry about that. It is just a pain in the butt to make sure everything's in there correctly. Some of this may try to fall out on you. There we go. See that centerpiece? And if you turn it this way, that's going to come out. But everything's in here. This one is much, much easier. Take the top off here where your pan sits. Pull that off. Slide it up. This is usually upside down when it's together. Just turn it and slide everything in. And these come apart and slide on in there. Once again, I purchased these because I did give away the little wood stove that I had like this. Now, what makes me upset the most is there were three people over there when I gave that away. There have been more and less people over there um, during certain times. Uh, there was two young millennial kids, and I call them kids because I'm 54 years old, millennials. Uh, the young man, man young male, uh, is the one that came over and got the heater, got the stove, uh, got the food. Now, there was an older gentleman over there as well. He's not related to them, but they were staying under the bridge. They all left. Now, the thing is, the young millennial kid didn't even tell anyone I gave them one of these. He didn't even tell the other gentleman that I gave them some food. And then they packed up and left. And he showed them the heater because, well, he couldn't hide the fact that he's carrying this big heater. But he just packed the shit up and took it with him and with him and the girl and left the old guy with no way to cook, no nothing. Uh, you did see the heater was still over there, and I say was. Here's my thing. I don't mind helping people out to a point, but it seems like the younger people of this generation are just selfish and self-centered. Now, do I care about these stoves? I like the stoves, knowing I can actually use a heater on these? Absolutely. Now, it will make this black. But with that open flame like that, that large of an open flame, it, this will get probably red hot on the outside as well as the inside. It will put out a great deal of heat. And like I said, you're probably going, why are you making this video when you already have a video showing your first one? You know, I this is not the first one. I did replace it. You saw me open it. Because the way this country's going with 
Saudi Arabia saying they're going to stop producing a million barrels of oil a day. That affects so many different things. It affects plastics. It affects gas. It affects mass production of metals. It affects all types of fuels. So what are you going to do if gas goes way the hell up because the Biden administration destroyed our gas and oil producers here in America and other countries tell America, well, we're not interested in helping you. You have to have a way, if something happens, that you have can cook, that you can boil water. If you have to boil water to purify it, you have to have a way to do that. These stoves are not very big. I mean, that's decent size. And this handle's more tight, and this one's a little loose, but that's fine. This one's a pretty decent size, especially compared to, well, this one. You can find wood almost anywhere. And if you can't find wood, you can generally find paper, cardboard, Hell, you can burn clothing in here if you had to. You can use uh, tree bark. You can throw grass clippings in there if you need to. Anyway, like I said, what do you do if gas, oil, um, natural gas, they're trying to shut down natural gas in this country. They're trying to go after propane which means butane and everything else will be next. So if you have a propane stove and you can't get propane, how are you going to cook? What are you going to do? If you have a butane stove, like my Coleman over here, and you can't find butane cylinders because there's no butane, what are you going to do? Or if the butane cylinders end up $20 for a single can, Once again, you don't have to buy either one of these. That's up to you. You can just build a fire out in your yard or in your barbecue pit if you have one. But what if you don't have one? What if you live in an apartment building to where you don't have a barbecue pit, the electricity goes out, or your stove was propane, and they stop making propane or natural gas, uh, in an apartment, it would probably be natural gas or electric. What do you do if the power's out and your stove's electric? You have no way to cook. What do you do if you have natural gas coming in and it, it goes out because they stop making or drilling for natural gas? What are you going to do? You have to cook. You can, just can't have raw stuff. You can find stuff to burn pretty much anywhere. Now, wet stuff will burn differently. Uh, it will produce a lot of smoke if it's wet. Wet wood will produce a lot of smoke. Doesn't matter what wood stove you use. It will blacken your pots and pans. That's the nature of burning wood. How do you handle it? How do you deal with a situation like that. I'm not saying buy anything. I don't tell people to buy things except for maybe vegetable seeds. That's a really good idea to have something like that put back. But I don't tell you to buy anything I have. If you want something and you have questions on it, I'll try to answer them. Do you have a way to cook if things get bad, if there's no power? Do you have a way to boil water if for some reason the water gets contaminated or if your city says you have to boil water and the power's out or the natural gas lines have been shut down? Now these little stoves take quite a bit longer to boil water than using something like 
uh, propane stove or butane stove because that's concentrated heat right underneath and you can adjust that these are either high when you have wood in here and it's fully lit or pretty much no simmer when they're burnt down it's either high or out will these continue to produce some heat once the fires burn down depends if the coals are coming out the bottom then probably not like I said the heaters I show you how to make um, the can heater or the can and foil heater will work on these if you need some way to, to produce heat but remember no matter what you put this is going to be hot and whatever you put on top is going to get very very hot if you want one of these great but these cans are going up in price. Propane at Walmart in the small bottles is going up in price. What do you do if the power goes out and you have no way to get money out of the bank if you have money in the bank? If your credit cards don't work, what do you do then? What do you do if you have no stove because it's electric? You have no fridge because it's electric. What do you do? Like I said, I'm not telling you to buy anything. That's not my job. My job is to show you what I have and tell you why I have it. And you can decide for yourself. Is something like this right for me in a bad situation? Or something like this right for me if I want to get prepared for a bad situation that's all I can do it's your choice it's your decision if you go through my videos I already show this one or one real close to it I believe it was just like this um, 14 bucks for that one and I forget how much this one was I apologize uh, you'll have to watch the front of this video to actually see the prices but I, I know this was like under 20 bucks anyway I will have to splice the two videos together but think about it if, if you live in a city and you see what's going on in this country with the Democrats going after energy. You see your, your utility bills going up. You see they're going after gas and oil producers, natural gas producers. Uh, some states are demanding all electric in the next few years. Well, California is a crap state in the first place, and they're idiots. But people keep voting for those policies because they vote for the politicians that push those policies. The people in New York, you're morons. People in California, you're morons. People in Oregon, you're idiots. People in Washington, you're idiots. People in Washington, D.C., I don't even want to go with y'all. I'm not even talking about y'all. If you live in one of those states and you can't leave, uh, Gavin Newsom in California has said he's banning wood stoves, propane, natural gas. In New York, any new building has to be all electric for apartments and houses. What do you do when they push all this eco car crap and it overloads the power grid or things shut down or we get attacked? What are you going to do then? How are you going to cook? Anyway, I'm fixing to go. Um, it's your decision if you own one of these or not. 
I can't tell you either way. Um, let me um, look look at this real quick. Just in case I may or may not merge the videos. I believe I will. Um, this one was $16.98. $13.97. Now, if you see the front of the video, you'll see tracking numbers. These came in today. Like I said, you saw me open them. And, unfortunately, you know... Um, my girlfriend has cancer and uh, kidney stones again, and they just removed them uh, in December. And here it is, April. She got them removed at the end of December. And we are still paying on that bill for the kidney stones. And I, I believe they missed kidney stones because they found one in each kidney. Uh the one apparently has been there a long, long time, and they just didn't worry about it. And the one that's bothering her now is where they removed the kidney stones. So, you know, she did file for assistance. She got a letter. The anesthesiologist alone is over $4,000. She got a letter from them because she applied for assistance. And they told her, if you can pay this at $2,000, in three months, we won't make it pay the other couple thousand, but she has already been paying them monthly, right? So, this the money for this stuff was already on my card. I did not put extra money on the card. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and replace this while I can. Like I said... I can't tell you what to buy. I won't. But think about what situation you might end up in if the Democrats keep pushing what they're pushing. Anyway, I have two stoves. One's going straight into my emergency kit where I took the other one out of. This one, I would believe I will put in the back of my girlfriend's car. So if something happens, she has a way to, actually I think I'll put this one in the car, not in the car, in the emergency kit. This one in the car and one of these in the trunk of the car with this because this sits easier. You know, much, much easier. This one fits easier onto this one. So looks like that's probably what I'll do. I know summer's here, but winter comes around. Bad weather happens, even in spring and summer here in Montana. All right, I'm fixing to go. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If you want to know where I got these, I'll be happy to tell you. Um, I just ordered them off eBay. Like I said, I, I really don't care for the handles. This, this is really loose. This one's kind of tight. But if your stove is together and you have to lift up your stove and move it, the handles come in handy because this will stay very, very hot. All right, that's it. I'm fixing to go. Uh, think about you and your family. What do you need to do if things get really bad? Um, that's all I can say. Anyway, that's it. Bye.